In this lesson, I'm going to show you six add-ins in Excel that are free and will simplify your life and you will say, I wish I knew about this earlier. So let's start. Before we go into the add-ins, I'm going to show you how to remove an add-in and add an add-in. So you go to insert, add-ins, and then here under my add-in, you can click on it. You can see what add-ins I have. Let's say this one, I want to remove it, QR for office. I go click here and say remove, and then I click on remove, and you will see it will disappear from my list. If I want to add it again, I will do insert add-ins, get add-ins, and then I'm gonna write QR for office. I click here to search for it, I find it, and I say add, and then continue. If you go here, to add-ins, my add-ins, you will see that it appears again. Now let's start with our first add-in. The first one is called, if you go here, Visual Data Visualizer. So you can see it here and you can also see it here. So I can click from either places. Let's say I click from here and then I add a chart. It will tell you here at the bottom, continue without sign in preview. So if you don't have a school account or a work account, you can use this and it will still work. What does it have? Basically, it has all these flow charts that you like, hierarchy charts, organization charts. So all of you that who are in HR will love me for this because now you can do org chart that look nice using this thing. And then you also have cross-functional flow chart for all of you who are changing processes, etc. I'm going to show you the organization chart just as an example. We can select, for example, the vertical one and we say create. We can also make this a bit smaller so we can see. And as you can see, I have some data behind it. So let's put it here. Let's move the data in a little bit to the right and let's make it a bit smaller. As you can see, I can change my data set and update my chart. So for example, here I have Sergio Udinese. Let's assume that there is a position under him that is vacant. So I'm gonna create a new ID here, ID nine, and then I'm gonna call the person P1, title T1, and then we have to put the reporting manager. So the reporting manager is Mr. Sergio Udinese, who is ID four, so we put ID four, and then we can select a role here. So I'm gonna say vacancy. And if I click here on refresh, you can see that there is a new position that comes here. So this is how it works. Again, it has more options. You can edit it if you sign in, you can do some other things. You can have your own table. So you click on source table and you select your table and so on. And it will work the same way for charts on processes. There you'll have a process. You'll be able to add a step add a reference to the step, putting, for example, a decision, yes, no, if it's yes, it goes to step four, if it's no, it goes to step three, and so on. So you can explore this on your own, but it's really useful. The next one I'm gonna show you is about YouTube. So a lot of times you want to create, for example, an instruction manual, and you want to refer to some videos, so the user can just see the video. Instead of putting the link, you can embed the YouTube video in Excel. And for this, you go to insert. There is an add-in that you need to add the same way I showed you, which is called web video player. So we click on it now because we have it. We say add, and it's very simple. You can see here, I just have to put the URL. So I'm gonna take this URL here that I have. I'm gonna paste it here and say set video. And as you can see, I get a video. So I can play the video, I can do anything, I can make it smaller and so on. So for example, I can embed it here in my instruction manual and the person can see it. So this is the second one. The third one is again for a lot of you who are in HR. It's about infographics and people. So if you go here, you go to add-ins, a lot of you, if you have newer versions of Excel, you will see this thing called people's graph. 
If you don't have it, again, you can go search for it and add it. So here, if you can see, I have some people chart. I can see average clicks per day. I can see downloads, visit, etc. And then you can see it will automatically make it in a chart. Now, if I want to have my own data, I'm going to say attended and not attended. Let's say here I have 500 people here, 245 can come. I can click data, select your data. I select it and I say create and automatically you will have it. You can also change the title here. You can say attendance and then automatically you will see that it will refresh. Other options you have is here under settings. So either you change the type, so I can change my type like this, or you can change your theme, so you can change the person. As you can see, these are different themes that you can select from lighter to darker. And then you have shapes. So instead of having people, I can have dresses, watches, money, diamonds, for example, and so on. Next, we're going to go to maps. So a lot of you, you want to represent sales data in a map and so on. And I have a video. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can see it. But there is another way using Bing maps. So for this, again, insert add-ins. We can either see it here, Bing maps, or you search for it under add-ins. And obviously, all of them are also here, if you see Bing maps. So if I click here this time and say add, I'm going to get a map with some data. Now I can make my data. If I select my data, for example, I'm going to select this and I click here. You can see that I will have circles for my data on the map. And when you click on it, you can see everything. Also, like all the other things that I showed you before, you can press here and then it will zoom in. You can press here, it will zoom out. Another thing I could do in the settings also is to use bird eye. So if you do this, you can change the way the map looks. Okay. The other thing I want to show you, apart from obviously changing the color of the pie, we can insert a pie chart instead of just a circle. So to do this, let's select this data and let's click here. You see here I have circles. So instead of having circles, I can click on my settings. I can say pie chart and you can see I have a pie chart and then I can change the colors. For example, I want those two colors and here we go. The next one I want to show you is QR code generator. And this is a very good tool that you can use. So let's delete this and remove this chart. What we do is insert add in my add in. This is the one that we were deleting at the beginning of the video, QR for Office. So QR for Office, you click on it, add, and it's very simple to use. Either you can create a QR code for a website or even a custom QR code. So let's assume I want one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I say insert, you get a QR code. If you put a cell phone on this, you will get this data. So this is for QR code and it could be very useful to create this. The last one I want to show you is calendar and date picker. So you go to insert, add ins, you have it here, mini calendar and date picker. Again, if you don't have it, you go and search for it and download it. So I'm going to click and say add. And here I get a calendar. So if I click on any cell and select a date, the date will come in the cell. So that will avoid you making mistakes picking dates. When you have a project plan, you can look at a calendar and start putting the dates instead of using your phone to see on which day a date falls, etc. And you have some nice options also. So for example, I want to add the time here. This is the current time. You can play with the formatting of it. You can highlight, for example, a range of cells and so on. And if you don't need it at the end, you can just click on it and then delete it and keep the data that you have. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope those tools will be useful for you at work. I'll see you in another lesson.